Hey everyone, welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. I have a timeless pick a card reading for you guys. I have three piles for you guys to choose from and we will be using the success card. Sorry, I have water on my hands. I just washed my hands. <laughs> but we have the success cards and this was also given to me by Mel Melissa. The Bob Ross cards was gifted to me today by Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. I can't wait to use these. So yeah, we'll be using Bob Ross and the uh, success cards. So this is going to be a business reading or a success reading or maybe even a money type of reading. So let's see what comes out. Uh, for pile number one, you guys are going to be copper. So it's a copper cluster for pile number one. For pile number two, you guys are going to be the sunstone pyramid. So sunstone pyramid for pile number two. And for pile number three, you guys are going to be tiger's eye. So tiger's eye for pile number three. Again, this is pile one. This is pile two, and this is pile three. So go ahead and choose which pile or which stone you feel most drawn to, and we are going to go ahead and get into your reading. For those of you who chose pile one with the copper cluster, if you chose the cluster of copper, um, pile one, this is your reading, your timeless reading on success, business, and money. So you guys have a card that says, isn't this fantastic? I knew you could do it. So some of you may actually uh, be getting the benefits from a business idea or your own business or something like that, or maybe even a business partnership here. Um, but there's something that you wanted to do and you went after it and you did it. And now you guys are feeling really good. You're feeling very fantastic. Um, it's, we also have a card that says, whatever makes you happy, you put it in your world. Whatever makes you happy, you put it in your world. This is kind of reminding me of a lyric. Uh, I listened to this rapper named Bones, and one of his uh, rap lyrics is, made my own world like J.K. Rowling. So I don't know, it's almost like you guys have created your own world um, that's making you very happy. It's becoming profitable for you. Um, you guys also have the anytime you learn, you gain. So anytime you learn, you, you gain. So it, I feel like you may have had a few um, trial and errors or a few mistakes, maybe even, you know, failures if you consider some of it failures. But it's like you learned a lesson from every mistake, from every failure, um, from every trial and error. You have learned something from that. And it's going to be uh, very beneficial to you uh, that you've learned these things. You guys also have, this is not something you should labor over or worry about, enjoy it. If painting does nothing else, it should make you happy. So whatever it is you are doing, it should be something that makes you happy here. Um, so if you guys are having stress or worry or anxiety over whatever it is, it's uh, Spirit is saying to not do that. Um, and make sure that you are in a business or a work environment that does make you happy. You guys also have the acquisition card from the success oracle. Um, some of you may be learning new skills or developing new skills, um, which is funny because you guys also have anytime you learn, you grow. So you guys are, some of you are in a learning period when it comes to money or business here. Some of you may even be taking it up a notch to give your business or your products or your career more quality. It says, how do you make money? Spinoffs, split ups, liquidations, mergers, and acquisitions. Fortunes are most easily made by selling your business to a bigger business. Having perceived scarcity and competition will get companies to take your offer to sell more seriously and also result in a higher price via a bidding war. So it says which companies or people might want to buy your business for cash flow or for strategic reasons. It also says what can you start doing now to build relationships with them and what can you be doing early to make your business more appealing to them later. I do feel like some of you are focusing on the quality of your work or the quality of your business or the quality of your products. Um, some of you may be trying to sell your products um, through a, a bigger business, like maybe someone here wants to sell things off of Amazon or um, Walmart or something like that. You know, that's just an example, but some of you may be um, 
doing business with bigger businesses. Someone here may also be selling a website. I know sometimes like domain names can be worth a certain amount of money. So someone here may be selling one of their domain names, their websites to someone. But yeah, I feel like some of you are going to get involved with a bigger business or some of you are going to be like partnering up. Some of you could be um, increasing your fortune by developing some kind of business partnership here. I'm also just, I also just heard if you can't beat them, join them. So someone here may be, <laughs> I, you know, they may only resonate for one or two people, but I heard if you can't beat them, join them. Some of you may be um, like shaking hands with a competitor here or something like that. Or, you know, that could resonate for someone here. Or this person could be doing this to you. You guys may have a competitor come to you um, and try to like do business with you or shake hands with you in some way. Um, the if you can't beat them, join them. You know that may ne not necessarily be you. That could be your competitor trying to join forces with you. So take it how it resonates. You guys also have the self care card. This says the time. The time to relax is when you don't have time for it. You can't take care of others unless you take care of yourself. Inspect each area of your life to ensure you are a well-oiled and sustainable machine. Important areas include sleep, exercise, diet, family, friends, hobbies, and investing in your own growth. It says, do you have as much enthusiasm now as when you started? Is your working pace sustainable? And if not, how can you make it so? What are totally separate activities from work that you can do to maintain energy and clarity? And it says, how can you pass along self-care practices to your team? So you guys need to practice more self-care, whether it's sleep, a diet, exercise, um, spending time on people you love or spending time on your hobbies. Also make sure your coworkers or your teammates or your partnerships Make sure they're doing the same thing as well. And like I showed you guys earlier, you guys did get the partnership card. And it says, our success has really been based on partnerships from the very beginning. That is a quote from Bill Gates. It says, good partnerships are about finding win-wins between people and businesses in which your creativity is the only limit in unlocking incredible value. Granting exclusive things can be worth it to land an early or big customer. Um, some of you may actually, so some of you may be taking your products or your items or your business to bigger businesses or third party businesses or something like that. Um, others of you may end up getting more ex exclusive with who can, who is worth um, doing business with you. So some of you actually maybe getting more exclusive or you need to um this kind of actually weirdly resonates for me because i don't really i love etsy i do i enjoyed selling off of etsy but there are some things on etsy that i don't really like as far as the seller side goes and um lately i've been wanting to like only sell future products to certain people i kind of wanted to make a very um make it to where like I can pick and choose who I sell stuff to. So yeah, some of you may actually end up being more exclusive with who you sell things to or who you do business with. Some of you may end up starting getting very exclusive like with your partnerships as well, your business partnerships. You guys also got the elevator pitch. It says, if you're going to err, err on the side of simplicity, assume that you have a very brief time to make an impression. Prepare a 20 second pitch as though that's all the time you have to sell someone your business because most often that's all the time you get. That's really um, interesting that they say this because I think that's a big reason why um, TikTok is so popular because a lot of this... If you're not interested in the first few seconds, most people will just skip past it. So some of you need to start getting, um, speeding things up or being faster with your, your sales pitch or your content or something like that. Um, so yeah, prepare a 20 second pitch as though that's all the time you have to sell to someone. 
um, because most often that's all the time you get. That's very true whether you're a salesperson or if you're a content creator or something like that or if you're if you are a business owner. Um, try to make some advertisement or these these sales pitch to be very very short because people's attention span are are very short as well, which is why uh, TikTok is so popular. So it says, what are the main things people care to know about your business and who can you practice pitching to and get good feedback from? So, yeah, I think you, um, if you could just like get things quicker, like if you could just talk quicker or just pinpoint uh, the main things quicker, it would go better for you guys. So if you're someone who tends to like over talk or over explain when you're trying to sell something, I feel like Spirit is saying to not do that anymore. Just kind of get to the point um, because people's attention span uh, is very, very, very little, um, especially like I've had this conversation before, like uh, when it comes to like people's intros on their videos, say you're a content creator. Um, sometimes you got to be careful to make sure that your intro isn't very long. Like try to make your intro, your video intros to be like five, six seconds long or something like that or under 10 seconds because um, a lot of times people will click off if your intro is too long. Um, but that's just an example. Um, so like I said, people's attention span are very quick, which is why uh, TikTok is very popular. So some of you need to come up with a, a quicker pitch here or a quicker intro or a sales pitch or whenever you're explaining something to do with money or work just try to get to the point like pinpoint stuff there um, some of the numbers that I see are 73 88 35 and 12 as well as 2 4 and 3 so that's everything I'm seeing for pile number one I hope this resonated if it did make sure you give this video a like comment and subscribe I love and appreciate you guys so much and we're gonna move on to pile number two hey guys if you chose the pyramid sunstone this is going to be your timeless reading on success business and work money all of that good stuff so at least so let's see what comes out for you guys so the first card I see, it says, they say everything looks better with odd numbers of things, but sometimes I put even numbers just to upset the critics. <laughs> you guys, you guys might be a lot like me. Like anytime I get criticized on my channel, I'll just do it more. Like if someone's like, oh, I don't like your cleavage, guess what? I'm probably going to keep doing it just to piss you off because I'm petty like that. So some of you may be petty like me too. Your pettiness, I feel like, is helpful for you. Um, it's like some of you do things on purpose to be petty <laughs> when it comes to work. Um, so if anything, if anybody is criticizing you and you know it's not like positive criticism or you know it's like one-sided or something like that or if they're being petty with you or whatever, it's like you guys will get that same energy back or you'll just keep doing whatever it is that they criticize you about just to piss them off or get, get under their skin. Um, you guys also have the card that says, that's a crooked tree, we'll send him to Washington. That's so funny because I feel like this may also be about criticism. So you guys might be um, dealing with or experiencing a lot of criticism at your work or within your business. Um, someone here may also be from Washington or travels to Washington or lives in Washington, but that doesn't have to resonate for everyone. Um, it also, also because it says that's a crooked tree, we'll send him to Washington. There could be, if you guys work for a company, they may be trying to send you to a different company or send you to a different work building or send you to a different location when it comes to work. That could resonate for someone here. Um, we also have a card that says, we artists are a different breed of people. We're a happy bunch. You guys are very different. You're very unique. And that might be why you guys are being criticized because you guys are very unique with how you do things or how you work or your attitude or personal personality can be very unique. Um, you guys also got the card that says, we just show you how, but you make the decisions. When you have this much power, you have to make big decisions. So some of you, I just heard heavy is the crown. <laughs> I just heard heavy is the crown. 
Um, so some of you may be in a, a position of power when it comes to your job, whether you work for a company, whether you work for yourself. I feel like you guys are in a high position at work or your business is becoming in a high position. So some of you are having to make big decisions or the correct decisions because of the fact you guys hold so much power or authority at your work or business here. But yeah, I heard heavy is the crown. So some of you may be uh, overwhelmed or stressed out because you have important decisions to make or a lot of things fall onto you at work or within your business. Um, so different things for different people. We also have overcoming obstacles. It says the obstacle in the path becomes the path. Never forget within every obstacle is a opportunity to improve our condition. Obstacles are necessary evils that show you what you're made of. They are imperative to, for growth and bring along important lessons. Challenges will often take us on new and improved paths. They build strength, resilience, creativity, and they help us prioritize. It says, what have you learned from overcoming obstacles and what opportunities lie in your current obstacles? And then it says, how can you perceive current obstacles from a new perspective and better prepare yourself for future blockers? Um, so I feel like you guys have learned a lot from the past or learned a lot by having obstacles, uh, obstacles thrown at you back to back. So yeah, if you guys are stressed with current obstacles in your life, um, try to remember obstacles that you had in your past and how you overcame them, um, how you were able to get past uh, your past obstacles here because those lessons that you've learned in the past are going to help you with your current situations or your current obstacles as well. Some of you are being called to have an, um, a different perspective when it comes to um, current obstacles or obstacles in your future. You guys are being called to have a different perspective on that. in order for you guys to better prepare for your future. Um, you guys also have the motivation card. This says, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. That is a quote from Gandhi. It says, as the leader, which is funny because I can tell you guys are in a, a position of leadership or power or authority at your work or business. And it says, as the leader, your motivation and energy trickle down, setting the pace for your team. Remember the reasons why you committed to your business and the cost of failure. Dopamine diet by avoiding pleasurable activities and tackle your hardest problems first each morning. Watch motivational videos. Prove your naysayers wrong. Rejuvenate yourself with whatever works for you. And it asks down below, it says, how passionate are you about the problem your business solves? What strategies and habits can you form for short and long-term motivation? And how can you involve or share these with your team? So some of you in the past may, you know, business people or companies or um, anyone, if you, or if you tried starting a business and the people around you were unsupportive, or if you worked for a certain company and those people were unsupportive, you know, you guys could have felt ignored, looked over, laughed at um, in the past. Maybe people did try to fight you in the past, like coworkers or something like that. But it's like you guys are winning. You came out on top or you will come out on top. You guys are going to win in this situation or you are already have won. But you guys do need to focus on your motivation. Okay, this is kind of reminding me of like, in order to like king of the hill or queen of the hill, whatever, once you reach the top of the hill, you have to continue to fight to keep, to keep that mountain, king of the mountain. That's what I'm trying to say. So once you become king or queen of the mountain, you still have to fight in order to keep your place there. It's not like you guys, it's not like once you reach success, it's, it's done and over with. It, you can't just stay on top. You have to continue to fight to be on top. You have to continue to stay motivated to continue to be on top. Because a lot of people, they'll reach a certain goal or reach a certain amount of success. And then it kind of just, 
if it boils over, it falls over, it falls out of their lap because they don't fight to keep that position or they don't stay motivated enough to keep that position. Um, so that may resonate for someone here. You guys also have the wisdom card. It says, we have not even to risk the adventure alone for the heroes of all time have gone before us. The labyrinth is thoroughly known. We have only to follow the thread of the hero path. Um, it says failure burns, but it is not failure if you learn from it. It breeds perseverance. It teaches, it motivates, it humbles. Fail early and repeat until you get it right. So this card even talks about motivation and you guys also got the motivation card. All of these cards are honestly tying in together, I can tell. Um, some of you may feel like you have been knocked down a peg or two. Um, the spirit is wanting you to get motivated to get back on top. So some of you have maybe letting failure or the thought of failure kind of consume your mind and you don't need to be like that. Um, just make sure that you do learn from your mistakes and that you learn from your failures so that it doesn't go in vain. Um, it says, what is your attitude towards failure? What have you failed in this and past ventures? Are there any patterns when it comes to your failures? It also asks, what can you learn from your failures and do differently? And who has a similar personality or similar business model to yours that you can learn from. So some of you may need to gain some kind of wisdom from people that are similar to you. Whether it's people that have the same personality as you, as you or as people that do the same kind of work or have the same kind of business that you have. Um, maybe talk to them. Maybe someone here could mentor, mentor you or maybe you guys could just study people that are similar to you um, and see how they are able to handle their failures as well. Or maybe some of you are being called to learn from other people's failures, okay? Some of you actually may be watching other people get knocked down a peg or two or watch other people start to fail or have failures. Um, so I'm hearing that for some of you, you're being called to learn from other people's mistakes. Don't just learn from your mistakes and your failures. Also learn from other people's mistakes and other people's failures as well. You guys also got the copyright card. So some of you may be being called to copyright something of yours here. So copyright, copyright. Sorry, it says it twice here. That's why I said it like that. But yeah, it says copyright, copyright. Steal ideas, steal facts, but do not steal words. Copyright is a form of automatic protection of creative work, usually lasting 50 to 100 years. Research for more details on what is copyrightable. Then use a copyright sim uh, symbol alongside the year of the creation to better protect your intellectual property. It says, what have you produced that is copyrightable? Have you used an online tool to make sure you haven't accidentally copied anybody else's work? So for a lot of you, you're being called to copyright something that you've done, um, whether it's something you've produced, whether it's something you've created, whether it's something you've wrote, um, some of you may need to have this copyrighted. Um, also make sure that you're using online tools to make sure that you haven't accidentally copied anyone else's work because um, that can be really easy to do. I mean, a lot of times people come up with the same ideas or the same like phrases or wordings or whatever it is. And, and sometimes we don't even notice this. Um, so make sure that you use some sort of online tools to make sure you haven't accidentally copied anyone else's work. To be honest, I'm not really sure how to do that. So if you guys know how to do that, put that down in the comments below if you don't mind sharing that uh, wisdom with me or other people. But there is apparently online tools that can make sure you don't accidentally copy anyone else. So if anyone knows how to do that or knows what kind of tools, um, please leave it down in the comment uh, section. It may help other people that click on this video as well. Uh, some of the numbers that I see are 42. 98, 87, 97, 9, 4, and 3. But yeah, um, you, some of you could be unintentionally or not knowing that you're taking the words of someone else or there could be someone doing this to you. 
someone could be stealing uh, your words or something like that. And some of you may be called to copyright your words here, something that you have produced. So, you know, you could always take it. It could be you guys unintentionally or accidentally doing this to someone or either someone could be doing this to you. Either way, uh, try to look into how to look into co uh, copyright stuff here. So I do believe that is everything I'm seeing for pile number two. I hope it resonated. And if it did, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I love and appreciate you guys so very much. And we're going to move on to pile number three. Hey, everyone. If you chose a Tiger's Eye, this is going to be your timeless reading on business, success, work, and money. So let's see what is in store for pile number three. So you guys have this card, which says, this is a happy place little squirrels live here and play so some of you are very happy within your work environment you could be very happy with your business or where your business stands or you could be very happy within your work environment um i also see where someone here could work outside or someone is being called to work outside i know that's not for everyone but for some of you i'm seeing like an outside job or someone's being called to take upon some kind of outside job um, again, I know that's not for everyone, but overall, I do feel like you guys are happy within your work environment. Um, you guys also have a card that says, I really believe if you practice enough, you could paint You could paint the Mona Lisa with a two-inch brush. So, <laughs> I'm going to read that again. I really believe if you practice enough, you could paint the Mona Lisa with a two-inch brush. So you guys, I feel like you're being called to really believe in yourself. And I'm also hearing practice makes perfect. So try to remember that practice makes perfect and to believe in yourself. You guys also have a card that says you have to have dark in order to show light just like in life. So some of you may be, um, some of you may actually be in a really positive uh, place with, like where you are at work maybe in the past you've had some dark moments at your workplace or dark moments within your business um but i feel like things are like balancing out for you especially if you've had issues in the past at work or with work or within your business i feel like things are like balancing out for you guys but yeah some of you could have had some dark moments uh, with coworkers or within a work environment or within a business in the past, but things are more balanced now or they're about to be balanced. You, all, you guys also got a card that says, look around, look at what we have. Beauty is everywhere. You only have to look to see it. I feel like you guys are being called to, to like look at a bigger picture here. Um, I hope none of you are like, Hopefully none, none of you are in a negative head space, space or being uh, pessimistic here because some of you are being called to really like look at, I'm hearing the silver lining. So some, some of you need to look for the silver lining in a situation at work or within business. I'm also hearing don't take anything for granted. Don't take your business for granted or don't take your, uh, your job or your work environment for granted here. You guys also have a card that says trend analysis, trend analysis. It says the best way to predict the future is to create it. I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that someone, some of you could be tarot readers or <laughs> uh, content creators or something like that. If you chose this pile, you don't have to be, but it wouldn't surprise me if some of you are tarot readers um, because it says the best way to predict, predict the future is to create it. It says make predictions by analyzing past and current trends. So some of you need to be called to look at trends, see what, what is trending, see what gets uh, the most views or something like that. Um, I think there's actually websites where you can see like the most trended hashtags or something like that. Um, or whatever it is you're doing, just try to, try to figure out, try to find out what is trending and how you can market yourself on what's trending so it says make predictions by analyzing past and current trends research the market and your competitors be flexible find patterns become an expert on the one thing that will never change human nature and use that to predict wants and needs 
It says, what changes in your life, your business, your industry, technology, and the world might affect your business? It also says, how might they affect the most unique or niche aspects, excuse me, or niche aspects of your business? So some of you are being called to find some kind of uh, niche here. You need to find your niche if you haven't already, or you need to figure out what's trending or what's most popular or what, what is uh, most viewed. Um, and also make sure that you're doing something that will kind of, I'm hearing like, be timeless. Do something that's kind of timeless here as well. Um, it says, how might they affect the most unique or niche aspects of your business? And what could you do in response? How can you start preparing now? So some of you may need to um, prepare yourself for a new, a new type of niche or a new type of business or something like that. Um, because a lot of things, it's like, for an example, if you're, if you had like a clothing store or something like that, you're going to want the most trend, the trendy clothes or what's clothes or what outfits are um, trending at the moment. Like you got to keep up with the times. So whether that's keeping up with um, updating your technology or updating your trends or something like that, um, that's something that you guys are being called to do. You guys also have risk mitigation. It says, let our advanced worrying become advanced thinking and planning. While managing risk, address and prioritize them as a function of threat level and likeliness measured against the difficulty to mitigate them. A big risk would be over-reliance on a single customer or supplier. A frequent risk would be password sharing across your team and contractors. We are often blind to our own risk. So enroll extra sets of eyes. It says, what are all the potential risks in each department and aspect of your business? which are the most threatening and the most likely. Some of you need to change your passwords. Some of you need to update passwords or change passwords when it comes to your money or your work or your business here. Um, some of you also need to not put your all your eggs in one basket when it comes to um, a single customer or supplier. Um, also, it says, how hard would it be to mitigate those risks? And who else can help you brainstorm risk and solutions? So you guys are being called to really, I feel like you guys need to like micromanage yourselves to make sure that you're not being too risky with stuff. So really get very analytical with um, your business, your passwords, your customers, your suppliers, anything like that. You guys also have problem statements. It says a problem well stated is a problem half solved. Your business must profitably address a real problem. What that is must be clear to yourself and others. Welcome to your problem statement, a work in progress that changes with the market and your growing knowledge. It asks you, who are you serving? Where are they? What is their problem? When do they have it and why? What assumptions do you have and how can you prove them? So some of you need to address a real problem that you're having within your business or within your workplace. Make sure that you're being very clear with yourself and clear um, with your customers, your clients, your coworkers. Make sure you're being very crystal clear about things. Um, some of you need to get crystal clear with your business or um, your workplace because it's going to really progress your business or progress uh, whatever it is you're doing at your workplace. Um, for some of you, it's going to help you become more knowledgeable. You guys also have the website card. It says websites promote you 24 seven. No employee will do that. Websites are essential these days for product discovery, information, sales, updates, recruiting, Press kit, press kit hosting, hours of operation, customer support, manuals, and more. Space was saved on these cards by offloading business term definitions to our website, success.cards, where we also post updates and host a community. It's asking you what relevant company information can you put online? Some of you, some of you are being called to 
um, build a website, uh, pay for a domain, build a website, start using that website. Um, again, it says what relevant company information can you put online? What about tools or product extensions? Um, can you save time money using a template like WordPress or hosted website builder like Wix, Wibbly, or Squarespace? So if you guys are new to building a website, there are tons of um, like templates that you can use. I know the, I've used Wix before. I did like Wix, um, but I recently switched over to GoDaddy's website builder. Um, but Wix, what, Wix Website Builder is also good, um, especially if you're not really sure how to build a website, and Wix is actually free. Now, the GoDaddy Website Builder that I have is not free, but I know Wix is free. Um, so you guys are being called to advertise on a website. I'm also hearing LinkedIn. Someone here needs to um, update their LinkedIn or something like that. Some of you are being called to sell sell stuff online. Some of you are called being called to spread information online on a website or to sell things. Um, I'm hearing if you guys already have a website that you guys need to update it. I know that's probably a message for me because I haven't updated my website in like a month and a half and I know I need to. <laughs> but yeah, some of you may need to up update your sites or your online stores or something like that. So yeah, some of the numbers I'm seeing are 44, 3, 80, 89, 10, 6, and 5. I do believe that's everything I'm seeing for pile number 3. I hope it resonated. And if it did, be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you all in my next videos. Bye.